Hey everybody, uh, Ethan with myself as my cards. I know it's been a while, but I wanted to say hi. Um, and I've got uh, some announcements about myself as my cards. Um, and I'm just going to do a couple of videos um, in a row here. I should be reading candles, but I need to speak to you guys. So um, I'm going to do this in the kind of probably the rambly cut up editing style so that I can just do it and then chop it and then send it on out. We've done a lot of gigs this year, a lot of in um, person readings uh, from Ventura to San Diego, all over Southern California, and it's been awesome. This is probably the most uh, active we've been yet, and uh, we're closing it up for the year. We've got one more in uh, Santa Ana on December second. There's an art walk there. We've we've done that for a couple of months, and uh, it might be a regular thing that happens throughout the next, you know, through 2024. It's usually the first uh, Saturday of the month. And that's a way to uh, catch us locally. Um, we set up a table. It's right near the fountain on 2nd Street. And uh, during the art walk and stuff, so there's a lot of cool, interesting uh, stuff going on around there. And uh, so you're welcome to come by if you're, if you're local and say hi to us. Um, I wanted to remind everybody that I started a, it's a fledgling uh, astrology weekly um, forecast channel not myself as my cards but myself as my stars right so just starting that up and getting used to it uh, that will evolve in time and I'm enjoying it so you can join me there uh, I do have Pablo Robledo's new Marcella uh, I just haven't been able to properly announce it yet so I'm going to do a separate video um, on that one uh, coming up soon. So uh, one thing that I thought would be fun is uh, to show you what cards I'm taking on our events, right? And I try to keep it down to what can fit in this bag. Um, it's really it's just a dop kit. It actually says uh, Lakers. I got it at a game. But, uh, you know, that's what I use for my card bag. And that's the limit of where enough cards has been reached, you know, if I can't fit any more in here, right? So sometimes cards enter. Sometimes they leave the circulation. Um, it is what it is. So my main cards usually go in these little Flournois leather um, pockets, these cases, and this is Camellia Elias's uh, Lenormand, the Helium Poet. Uh, I use this one a lot. I'm fond of it. Um, it is the first deck that I used um, for my Lenormand readings in um, uh, my professional readings. And it did amazing for me, you know, and you know what it is when you have a tool that works and does well for you, you know, so I keep going back to it and it keeps impressing me, you know. I would say the next one is the Flournois um, Majors Only Hand Stenciled Noble that Roxanne uh, hand stencils. It's just beautiful. People love it. It pops. And uh, that's what I use for my backup of, uh, you know, when we want to go directly at a question and there's a question to be asked. That's what I go for. You know, the Lenormand, a lot of times for, for a 15-minute reading, um, that nine-card box works really nice for a general when when people don't know what to ask or we have to kind of look around a little bit before we know what we're talking about next is the green glyph if I need to switch things up and I need to get a different feeling you know sometimes when you're reading all day eight hours you know uh, you want something else you want to see some new images and it can breathe new life 
And anytime I feel that, I go for the green glyphs. Uh, you always have to have a 78 card deck. And I will use this for lots of stuff. It's the Noble, Florinois Noble. This is the mass, I guess you can call it the mass market. And, uh, you know, the, the black case is what I use for that one. Um, the Madame Moreau's fortune telling cards. I love these cards, they're beautiful. They've got that vintage feel to them. Uh, I got them from Big Cartel. Oops. And it's kind of cool. They, um, they're actually coming with um, two gentleman cards and two lady cards so that you can put that deck together any way you want to, to um, for any client that might want the two gentlemen or two ladies in the deck rather than just a, a lady and a gentleman. <clears throat> I do have the 78 card 1930 um, reproduction of the um, Paul Marteau Grimaud and it's just nice again um, I'll, I'll go to it when I want to um, change it up a little bit. Uh, you always have to have some playing cards and I've got this, what is this, a drink and carrot, hide and drink leather um, case that holds these uh, kind of old style. Um, to tell you the truth, actually, this is a prototype that I purchased. Uh, I don't know what style it is, and I don't think it's on the market. I got it from someone that just uh, did a, a few of them, and I don't think they did any more. So, <laughs> sorry for tempting you with that one. Uh, and keep my other case here. I think this is the maybe. Yeah, because the maybe is solid. The maybe Lenormand. You know, and yeah, I read with this a lot too. It's great. Um, Lenormand uh, images are so um, universally understood. You point to the child and you know what the child is. You point to the house and, and anyone, any exposure to cards or no exposure at all, and they'll know what home is or what heart is. So, uh, and, um, so I keep the, the maybe with its extended other uh, cards too because... That makes it a 52 card deck for the inserts. And, you know, I hoped one day to um, use them more often, you know, for larger grand tableaus and stuff like that. So um, I keep them since there's only that many more to bring. And I have a, a, a case that has two pockets that I can easily just keep them together but separate. And at any moment, I might just use it. This is a special one. I carry it with me. It's almost like the engine of the, uh, like magic engine of the, the furnace of the, of the cards. It's my mom's old leather wallet that uh, she would use to, when she was uh, writing checks at the grocery store and stuff when I was a kid, right? And it holds the Rolochon, that uh, the waxy Robletto Rolochon that um, was in uh, Pablo Robletto did. And it's just a silky, soapy, awesome feel. And the images are awesome and the colors are great and stuff. So um, for special readings, you know. Uh, everybody develops their own magic, you know, and uh, so you you may find when you are out there doing readings and there are certain topics that come up that uh, certain cards or um, items are good to put out on the table and um, accompany you while you address those topics. I certainly do. <clears throat> and last but not least, the new Marcella 
from Pablo Robledo. And that's what I'll be doing the next video on. Uh, I just didn't want to do this video, the Robledo video, with all that other information, but I did want to say it, so now it's been said, and uh, 